Hey guys, it's your man John Gray here, aka the Mega Mailer, and I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to check out this free training that I put together for you. All right, uh, in this training, I'm going to cover the five e-commerce emails that I believe every physical product owner should have in place if they want to increase their sales and brand loyalty while lowering returns and chargebacks. So before I get into the training, let me just briefly go over what to expect from the training and kind of the structure or layout of the training. So what I'm going to do is each five of the emails, I'm going to go through and explain to you what to cover, uh, you know, what to cover or what to say inside of each email. Then I'm going to go through ideas, uh, bullet points of what you can, the ideas you can use to create the content for these emails. And then I'm going to show you an actual example from one of our recent clients uh, who we went in and set up his uh, entire automated uh, email system for him. I'm going to show you five of those emails to use as uh, templates or examples so that you can get these implemented in your own business. And then after I do that with each of the emails, I'm going to give you guys action steps that you can take and implement to kind of break this down for you in little chunks. So that you can start, you know, it basically as soon as you get through watching this video, you can get these things set up and put into your own business and it won't take you that long to do. All right. So with that said, let's get into the five emails. All right. So the first of the five emails is the most important email that you will ever send out. And I know that may sound crazy, but trust me on this one and you'll see why in a minute. But basically, the indoctrination email is just a thank you and welcome email, but done the right way. So just think of it like this. You get, yeah, I know you've heard the saying, you've got one chance to make a first impression. And in this case, that is, it couldn't be more true. Okay. Um, so you picture your customer. All right. They've seen one of your Facebook ads or they ran across you on Amazon or whatever the case may, may have been. And purchase your product and now you know they're they're not really sure what to expect that sort of thing um, this is really going to set the tone for the relationship so if you don't get this one right basically all the other stuff I'm telling you I'm not gonna say it doesn't matter but it won't be as effective if you don't get that first email right the indoctrination email um, and then your, your next two emails are your pre-arrival excitement builders. Now these are considered, I like to consider these under the, under the indoctrination sequence um, because these three work together, the indoctrination and the two pre-arrival excitement builders work together to pre-frame the customer and get them set up correctly, letting them know the proper expectations. And as you'll see, and we'll, we'll go into it, I won't dig too deep into it right now because I'm gonna go into it for each of these emails. Uh, and then you've got the cross sale anticipation builder and the cross sale announcement. All right. Now those two emails are really going to help boost sales immediately. So basically they've gotten your product at this point. Uh, they've had a chance to use it and you know, gotten familiar with it. Um, now it's time before you do anything else is to offer them another product. Obviously, <laughs> um, they are obviously pleased. Hopefully if you got a decent product, they're pleased with your company, they're pleased with the product, and they would definitely uh, not mind seeing another product offer from you. So this is where you would, would show them your second uh, best seller, your second uh, uh, most important product, um, other than the one they've gotten, and you just kind of rotate in your next one, all right? So that's the five emails. Now I'm gonna go into them and we're gonna break them down. Uh, before I do that, uh, the pre-arrival excitement builders, if you'll notice, I've got do three of them if your product ships slow. So you'll see it as we get into this, but the pre-arrival excitement builder number one goes out uh, on day one. So indoctrination email is day zero. Pre-arrival excitement builder is, is day one. <clears throat> then you take two days off and you do pre-arrival excitement builder number two. Uh, you do that actually on day uh, three. Um, now, if your product ships slow, then you will want to do a third one, meaning like ships seven to 10 days or so, you, you'd want to do a third one. All right, so I just kind of want to point that out. That's why I have there uh, do three if product ships slow. All right, now, obviously, I'm sure you guys are going, dude, there's no way I'm gonna make money from five emails. 
obviously there are a ton more emails, all right, that you need to have to have a successful automated backend system. All right, um, I'm, I'm not gonna go into all of these in this training for obvious reasons. It'd take me four or five hours to like touch on every single one of these. Um, so you're getting a, the, the, the five that are, that start this off that are the most important, but let me touch on these. So the indoctrination welcome sequence, I just kind of described that to you. Uh, that's your welcome email and your pre-arrival uh, excitement builders. Um, it sets the whole tone for your entire email uh, backend uh, sequence. Then you have your post-purchase sequence, which encompasses the standard um, and cross sale, which you guys are getting a couple of the cross sales that start that whole sequence off. Then you've got your 2X or multi-buyer post-purchase sequence, which with that, what you're doing is uh, acknowledging the customer for making coming back and making another purchase. You want to make them feel special. You want to then bring them a little deeper into your brand. And I won't go deep into this, but a, a perfect scenario for that would be uh, doing a, a separate uh, welcome and thank you video for your, for your multi-buyers, whereas in now you may do a shoot from your office or you may take them for a walk through your manufacturing uh, area or shoot from your home, basically just bringing them in, in more, engendering them more into your brand, okay? Uh, then you've got your customer win back or you may have heard it called re-engagement um, sequence and there's both is the exact same thing, just different, different wording. Um, and what that's designed to do obviously is bring back customers who purchased at one point but have been unresponsive as far as buying uh, in 60 days. And that's usually a really good time frame. Um, so if they hadn't bought anything from you in, in the last 60 days, you want to knock on that door and see what's up with them. Um, and for obvious reasons, which I'll get into a little bit later. All right. Then you've got your abandoned cart sequence. Um, and that's obviously pretty pretty obvious what the abandoned cart sequence is designed to do. It's designed to convert non-buyers, but the way that we do it, it's going to convert non-buyers, but it's also going to educate them on your brand in the process. Uh, it's going to build trust and authority with them because you're not just beating them over the head with, uh, you know, you forgot this product, buy, 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 buy. Um, I'm not going to say there's nothing wrong with that, but there's a better way of doing it. Um, I, I won't get into it in this training. I will touch on it a little bit later, but you know, doing your abandoned cart sequence is obviously to get to convert non-buyers and, uh, do it within the first seven days because 90% of your revenue from your abandoned cart, uh, comes in within that first seven days. So, uh, you want to make sure that you're really effectively, uh, marketing email marketing back to these guys okay within that first seven day period all right so now here's the thing as i said there's obviously more emails um than the five but you've got to get these five right to set the standard in the proper tone for all your other emails that follow for them to be as effective as possible you have to get these right to set the tone and in particular the indoctrination i can't stress it enough it's like I don't know, guys don't, they, I think maybe because they don't know or because they're lazy, either way, uh, it's good for you. Let them stay lazy and let them stay, uh, for lack of a better term, ignorant to this process because it's going to make you look like a freaking, your company and brand look like a superhero, all right, to your consumer because nobody's doing it. You get this right, you're on your way, all right? So enough of that. Let's get into it, okay? So the very first email, the indoctrination, uh, thank you, welcome email, the goal of, of that email is to engender your brand to the customer and to welcome them. And uh, also thus by building trust and authority. Okay. Now I'm sure, and I already touched on this, but I just kind of like to, you know, drive the point home. First impressions are everything. Okay. You get one shot at either becoming a hero and standing out in your consumer's eyes or just becoming another, you know, walk of the park, run of the mill type of company that's offering the product that you've offered. And 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 here's the thing, you you may be doing a a great job on your front end marketing um, of trying to engender your brand. All right, but once you get them in the door, now that's basically free for you to continue to 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 market to them and and continue to build that trust and authority, whereas you're paying for that on the front end. All right. So let's get into what to say and what to cover. 
So, and, and for this, guys, this is static. Um, you can move stuff around a little bit, but this is what you need to say and what you need to do inside of your welcome email. So, you want to start by thanking them, thanking them for making their purchase. Um, and if you want to be a rock star, you're going to need to make a welcome video. Now, I will touch on that welcome video and what to say inside of it and such um, in, in just a few. But just know this that if you have a personality based brand meaning uh <clears throat> or personality based product um meaning that there's a person with a story attached to that product or brand that person needs to shoot the video welcoming that person welcoming the customer in and thanking them for their purchase and everything like that now if it's a uh just a product based brand or service um then you can do a like a third party um pitch video or, or a third party uh like testimonial video just something to build that extra relationship with the customer um and, and like i say i'm going to dig into that here in a separate slide so i won't go too far into it now but just know if you want to stand out if you want to if you want to build that that uh long-term value and increase your customer lifetime value it starts here make the video <laughs> I, mean, I know i'm stressing it but please just trust me make the video uh i won't go too deep into this before for uh one of our clients we had him shoot the video and and go through and really just you know probably took it was a three minute video maybe at most and what he started to notice is the return customer rate was outrageous there were some customers and that were coming and had done oh gosh um a huge chunk of his his uh list had done anywhere from three to eight repurchases which is pretty crazy um and this is not like a supplement or anything where you have to continually keep taking it this was like clothing all right so next thing you want to do is let them know when it ships um that's pretty standard nothing out of the you know out of the uh, crazy uh, nothing crazy there um then you need to let them know what to expect and when i say what to expect you want to set the proper tone to let them know uh, the type of emails you will be sending sending them, the frequency of which these emails will be sent. That way there's no surprises. And what this helps do, you do this so that you can reduce complaint rates, your unsubscribe rates. And listen, don't get freaked out about unsubscribes. They're going to happen, right? Um, if And you want them to know up front so that the people who are going to be an issue, get them out of the way first. Let them unsubscribe before they become like, complainers later on down the road let them get the heck out of here they don't want to hear your stuff you don't want them all right um so that's what i mean by let them know what to expect next thing you want to do and i got this bolded because it's well it's it's, it's really important and, and no one's doing it and that's why i got to make make a welcome video bolded as well you want to get the consumer to make micro commitments and the reason you do this this is what causes that authoritative um it causes you to be an authority figure in the eyesight of your customer and let me explain that think of it like this when you're a child uh and the authority figures in your life were generally your teachers your parents well they all told you what to do um especially teachers in first meeting them stuff like that they told you what to do and boom automatically they were put into an authoritative state in your mind subconsciously now, i'm not getting deep in an lp or any of that stuff this is just basic i won't say basic but this is just copywriting stuff that uh, has been proven time and time again um so what we do is we generally ask, ask them to whitelist us and we're making sure that we put a large value on the content we're going to send them and by requesting them to whitelist our, our, all of our content uh, our our to whitelist our email uh then we ask them for social media uh like so we ask them to go join our facebook group and we may ask them to follow us on twitter whatever social platform we're on um thus getting them to make another little small micro commitment but at the same time you obviously want to be able to communicate with your customer in as many forms and fashion as you can all right so i'm going to show you guys uh obviously a layout for this um in in just a sec here we go all right so here is my man uh henry's uh one of our recent clients 
This is uh, his thank you email. Now, I just, I'm gonna kind of break this down for you. I won't spend a lot of time on it, but in all of our emails, the first thing we want the customer to see is our header and logo here, um, for, just for brand recognition purposes, okay? So that's always gonna be at the top of every email. Uh, then we'll just have our intro, which here is just, hi, here we here. I made this very special video to welcome you into the unapologetic, bleh, unapologetic family. Click on the video to say hello. So the next thing we're gonna do after our intro, we always 90% of the time have a text link that's clickable uh, call to action at the very above the fold, top of our email. Then we just have the screenshot here of the video and we always have a little play button, play button GIF is another uh, call to action. Then right below it, we'll do a button um, and usually this is an image. We generally have an image here of some kind um, because you want the consumer to see an image of a product or some sort of an image. It's just an eye catcher and having a little play button there. It just puts the icing on the cake. Then we'll have our button here. Click here to watch my special video. Uh, then we go right into it. We're thanking them for your purchase, thanking them for their purchase. We're letting them know when it'll ship. Then what you kind of want to do here is sort of a reminder uh of of why they bought and why you know why your company or brand is cool so here we say <clears throat> i know this will be a game changer in allowing you to be bold and give your faith a voice and this by the way is a christian based uh urban uh urban t-shirt uh urban gear i guess you would call it uh a company um where they just sell different christian based t-shirts hats stuff like that um so we're reminding them of that and here's where we go into the part of letting them know what to expect. So basically, we're telling them that we look forward to sharing our blog posts, private sales and promotions that's only available to members of the unapologetic family, making them, uh, you know, kind of feel special for joining and, and uh, basically reinforcing the positive action that they've taken. Um, and that's one thing you always want to do as well, if you can. And you can just do that by doing exactly what we're doing here just letting them know that they'll be getting access to information that's only available to members of blank, whatever your product, brand, company name, all right? And other exclusive content. Then we go on to say one important thing to note, and here's where we go into the micro commitment. We basically let them know that, you know, not only will they be receiving updates about our latest product lines and access to pre-releases and you know, all, the, all this other cool stuff, um, but they'll also be getting, you know, special sales and deals. So, we let them know that, you know, sometimes emails get lost in the infamous spam folder or just flat out don't make it to your inbox. So please take the following actions. Um, this one was a pre, uh, like a, a preview one that I uh, screenshot it. Um, it. It actually has uh, step one being let's get social. We're asking them just to join our Facebook group, small micro commitment. Then we ask them to whitelist all of our emails. And we put a link in there that just says, uh, it takes them to a page that describes uh, how to whitelist an email depending upon whatever ISP they're using. And that's it. We just ask them for those two little small micro commitments. Then here, now we normally don't do this. We do this in the welcome email only. We have our social media buttons uh, before our signature. Normally those, this is down here below the signature, but we want them to make those micro commitments in that first email. So that's why we have them up here. All right. And that's it. And we have our signature. Now, one thing that I recommend you guys do is to put a uh, reminder, uh, an unsubscribe reminder at the bottom of your of, uh, of every email. Now, what this does is just reminds them basically uh, why they purchased or signed up from you, kind of why your company's cool uh, and why they should feel kind of bad <laughs> uh, for unsubscribing. Um, and for in, in Henry's here, I don't know if you can see it, but we just basically say we, we strive to provide a community for people who are excited about their faith and communicating their ex, uh, that excitement with their own unique voice. Your participation is what fuels the unapologetic movement. So we're basically telling them because of you, we exist. Uh, we are a family run business and emails are a crucial way for us to contact our friends and fans. So now we're just kind of telling them, hey, look, we're a small, you know, mom and pop shop and, you know, our emails are kind of our bread and butter and how we can communicate with you. We regularly provide coupons, free content and updates on Henry, which is the, the 
face of the brand and unapologetic merch. If you would like to, and basically we're just saying, hey, look, this is our, this is how, you know, this is kind of how we make our money. And um, because of you, we exist. We appreciate you. But if you want to unsubscribe, here's how you do it. <laughs> All right. So I urge you to get something like that created. All right. Next. Uh, here we go. So next thing I want you to do, here's your action steps for your indoctrination email. And don't get freaked out about this. Trust me, it's, it's, it's not that difficult. And matter of fact, <clears throat> let's just go through this one quick time for you. Um, intro, call to actions, thanking them for the purchase. Here we let them know when it's going to ship. Uh, reminding them why we're cool and why they purchased from us. Then shifting into uh, what to expect. That's letting them know what kind of emails are going to go out, that sort of stuff. Then boom, we go into the micro commitment. Um, asking them to do some stuff to make us an authority authority figure in their eyes same way as your teachers and your parents have done and if you get pulled over by the cops late night and they tell you you know put your hands on the steering wheel uh, whether you like it or not they're an authority figure in your eyes all right so and that's it and then you know your facebook uh i'm sorry your social media uh buttons signature hey don't unsubscribe but if you want to here guilt tripping a little bit all right that's that's basically it for that email so here's your action steps shoot the video shoot your video um don't get freaked out about it um so here's what you need to be saying in your video um all right you just need to intro yourself tell them who you are and this is very simple and it, this will literally it could be a two minute video it could be a 10 minute video depends how long winded you are up to you Introduce yourself. <clears throat> Thank them for purchasing. Tell them your story. That's it. Tell them your, and by your story, I mean maybe why you created the brand or the company, um, you know, why you decided to serve this, this particular niche you're in. That's it. <clears throat> That's all you got to do. But by doing that, taking that time to make that personal outreach to your customer, it will speak volumes to them from all the other emails <clears throat> that come out from you, okay? So shoot your video. Um, like I say, intro who you are, you know, tell your story, thank them for joining the community or family, whatever, you, you know. It, I, I, I would, if it's me, I would, I'm would. i gonna give you the advice of what we do, just call it a community or, or uh, you know, your brand community, brand family, et cetera, to just kind of um, make them feel a part, if they belong to, to something. Um, and, you want to set this email to go out immediately uh, after a first time purchase. So only someone that makes a purchase the very first time an initial purchase should get this email. Um, you know, you don't want like a, a, a second time buyer, um, <clears throat> third, fourth time buyer getting this email. They've already seen it. They're going to be like, dude, I know you. I know who you are. That's why I bought from you like the third, fourth time here. All right. So make sure it goes out immediately after the first time purchase. Okay. All right. Now. Let's get into pre-arrival email number one. So the goal of these emails is to build excitement, reduce buyer's remorse, reduce refunds and chargebacks and increase reviews. Now, this is obviously, it's, this pertains to every, every you know, e-com business, but it's really, from my understanding, uh, it's really been a game changer for guys that are in the trial-based business, which, you know, supplements, that sort of thing, where you sell them on a trial basis. You know, this can really give the customer some uh, assurance, uh, help keep the excitement up, help keep you in their face before the product even gets there. Really does wonders, man. Really does wonders for all of you guys, all e-commerce owners. But I mean, it really helps the guys that are in the trial-based uh, business. But any, I mean, implement these, whatever you have, whatever physical product you're in, implement it. All right, so let's get into ideas um, to creating these emails. So as I told you, the welcome email, the indoctrination email, number one, that's static. Do it basically precisely as I just did in the video, all right, in the uh, slide uh, that I just kind of showed. Now for this, there's different ways you can do it. I'm going to show you the way we did it and the way we had our client do it, but you can do an open the box video. That's really the best route to go. And all you have to do for an open the box video is basically just, uh, I mean, you can go as far as, you know, 
<laughs> shooting a video and this doesn't have to be fancy with your iPhone of you walking out to your mailbox, taking your product out of the mailbox in its shipping, the way that you ship it to them, taking it out, getting excited about it. And you can um, have a actual customer do this for you as well or pay, you know, a third party to do this for you as well. But you just want to kind of show them the experience beforehand, thereby getting them excited. Like, Ooh, damn, I can't wait for this to come in. Take it out of the mailbox, go back into the house, rip that bad boy open, you know, show them what the bottle looks like. And hopefully, if you're not, it's okay. But if you got like some pretty good package, packaging design, it's going to get them excited about that. You can point that part out. If you're shipping with, for instance, Henry ships with a thank you, a referral card that has like a coupon code on it. Um, he kind of shows them that. The buttons, he gives like uh, buttons uh, that, that they can use um they're like pin on his shirts and stuff he shows them that and really here's one thing to keep in mind your excitement as the brand owner or you know whatever your position as the ceo the creator your excitement is your consumer's excitement so you have to relay that excitement like lay it on them if you're excited they're excited right so just keep that in mind keep the enthusiasm up when you're shooting these um uh videos these open the box videos you can also do a what to expect video where basically instead of like walking through the whole open the box type of situation, you can just do a video of yourself telling them what they expect. Hey guys, you know, this is John Gray. Your blood pressure pills are on the way. Uh, when you get them, you know, there's going to be a, a free, uh, uh, a free guide in there to give you the five best ways, uh, to, you know, decrease your blood pressure within the next 60 days, blah, 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 blah. You know, I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be awesome. Hey, hope the you know, hope you love it, and you know, boom, that's it. All right, just kind of what they expect, but excitedly, <laughs> what they expect. Um, you can also do a third-party review, and there's uh, you guys know this stuff, I'm sure, but there's you know companies out there that will um, shoot a professional review for you, a professional, uh, a professional testimonial if you will um about your product and then they you can just have them say man i just got in my uh, you know be pure blood pressure pills i keep hitting it that i keep saying that because we have a blood pressure product i just got in my my blood pressure pills and uh you know man it's it, it's so exciting you know it came with this free guide that i didn't even know i was getting or this free report um the bottle looks awesome you know the pills look manageable something that I can take that I don't have to worry about it, you know, choking me, um, you know, that sort of thing, all right? Or you can go the social proof or case study about your product, all right? Now, you can, and let me break this down a little bit for you. So when I say social proof, um, and you'll see it in ours, you can do it where you take, you know, customer, customer reviews, and use that as an excitement, uh, a site excitement builder. Like, hey, look, you know, we we know you hadn't gotten your product yet. It's going to be great. But rather than us tell you, we figure we let a few of our customers tell you how how much they love the product and how great their experience was. Then boom, boom, paste in your social proof there. Um, now, case study about your product, and I've got ingredient in there. So let's just say you know you've got a skin cream and. There's a particular your active ingredient in your skin cream that just had like, you know, uh, a scientific review about it or, you know, even if one of your, your or it was in a paper or the news or there's some kind of uh, positive feedback around a particular ingredient or the, the product itself. I mean, if you had it reviewed, obviously, then there you go. Pre-arrival email number one is pretty much written itself. All right. So. That's ideas you can use to create your uh, pre-arrival email, number one, all right? So here's uh, here's one, uh, Henry's pre-arrival email. Um, so basically what I, what he did is, um, you know, it just says, hey, are you excited as I am for you to receive your order from us? Well, I decided to shoot a quick video detailing what to expect when your order arrives. You can view it here. So call to action one, call to action two, call to action three, call to action four. Um, so. In the video, all he basically tells him, which I, I kind of already told you earlier, is, uh, you know, 
hey, you know, I just want to let you know your products on, you know, it'll be on the way in just another day or two. You know, it's going to be shipped in, you know, this uh, blah, blah, blah packaging. Um, also included in there, I'm giving you some free buttons and, you know, some cards because, you know, we exist because of you. Boom. That's it. Just kind of getting them excited. But with enthusiasm and, uh, you know, kind of showing them the packaging, opening it. Showing them, you know, like, like an example of the T-shirt and, and also kind of telling them about the quality of it. All right. And that's basically it. OK. Um, and, you know, it follows the same format as all of them. Nothing, nothing out of the way there. Um, as you can see, now we switched back the buttons to be in below the signature. Boom. We've got our uh, reminder on sub reminder here. And that's about it. <clears throat> all right. Now, your pre-arrival email number one action steps. Uh, use my example uh, the ideas I gave you um, to create your pre-arrival pre excitement builder. All right. Um, you know, choose an idea. Um, if it were me, the best I've seen as far as from a response rate is that open the box video. Uh, I, I urge you to do that. OK. <clears throat> and then just set this email to go out on day one. So indoctrination email day zero, which is immediately this one goes out day one. All right. Pre-arrival email number two. For some reason, the goal is all the way down at the bottom, but that's all right. <laughs> uh, so the goal of this email, same, build excitement, reduce buyer's remorse, refunds, chargebacks, and increase reviews. All right. So here's some ideas. Um, obviously, you just want to choose a different one from pre-arrival number one. And, you know, the same options you have is, is pre-arrival email number one. Just I would choose a different one, and I'll show you how we did it here in just a sec. Um so here's what we did uh, for the second one. We went with social proof. All right. So basically, we're just saying, hey, I know you haven't received your order yet, but I thought you might like to hear a quick story about our, the recent choice I made that changed the course of unapologetic gear for life. So now we're educating them on the brand. We're making them feel apart. All right. So then we just go into him just basically saying <clears throat> that he made a decision to switch T-shirt providers, looking to increase the that increased the quality and value um, for his loyal customers. Uh, and he was saying it was a choice that he prayed he wouldn't regret. Then when he got his first sample in, it was crazy. Um, and I'll touch on this in a sec, but I, before I kind of go too far into this, subject lines. Um, I didn't have the subject lines included here, um, but in the first email, it's just thank you and welcome. <laughs> it's very standard, all right? Uh, for your other emails, um, for this one in particular, you know, we like to use short subject lines, like, you know, six to 10 um, words, you know, the, the less, the better, um, because then it's kind of a, like an intrigue type of, uh, uh, type of email, um, uh, type of subject line, sorry. So with this one, we just use, this is crazy. And then there we kind of refer it, uh, refer back to it right here so you say then i got my first sample it was crazy it was one of the softest and most durable cotton shirts i ever held in my hand notice we're building excitement here this t-shirt must be pretty daggum awesome like it's soft he's telling me it's soft it's durable and then i go into well you know and it seems our customers truly agree but i figured i'll let them tell you personally all right then we just post some uh social reviews here all right, good quality, great customer service, love it, blah, 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 blah. You guys, I'm sure, have plenty of these <clears throat> um, on your Facebook page or on your uh, e-com site somewhere. And then we just reaffirm to what the whole message of the brand is and why they purchased from us and why we're cool and why they're cool for purchasing. I hope you enjoyed giving your identity a voice with your new unapologetic gear as much as the rest of the unapologetic family has. Boom. Um, and also what we're doing here, <clears throat> which... Depending on the cost of your product, <clears throat> you can do or not. But I like to kind of spark things off as soon as possible. And, you know, uh, not everybody's going to take this up because they hadn't gotten their their first product yet. But we put like a special special first time customer coupon in here um, to give them 25 percent off and just let them know, you know, exactly how that works. And there's our, our uh, call to action click here to shop but we don't press that you know very much we just do a little ps here by the way putting ps's in your emails is always a phenomenal idea um for some reason people i guess think that it's like this extra secret that they weren't expecting your click rates are always going to be relatively high in your ps areas and then that's it <clears throat> all right so <clears throat> 
action step, obviously, for your pre-arrival emails, just use my example as a guide and craft your second pre-arrival email. Just be sure to choose a different um, idea for content from your, you know, between your first and second, second pre-arrival email. And then just set this to go out on day three. All right. Now let's get into your cross sale anticipation email. All right. So the goal of all your cross sale emails is to obviously cross sell additional items, uh, increase that customer lifetime value. And you're, you're, you know, getting that started nice and early and, you know, giving them obviously something else to purchase. They purchased the first thing from you. They're obviously, you know, hopefully they, they enjoyed the first product, com getting comfortable with your brand. Um, so that's, you know, why you want to follow up and try to sell them something else. And you want to display your second most popular item um, and your billing anticipation um, for the cross sale item with this particular email. Now with the cross sale anticipation email, you're building anticipation for the cross sale item. All right. Um, so let's get into the ideas to create it. So for your anticipation email, you want to pre-sell it um, with a, a pre-sell engagement article. Basically, you know, you can talk about the problem that the product solves, um, but you're not trying to really sell them. You can do social proof or science, a case study, um, basically announcing the benefit of the product. So it's kind of I talked about before. Um, there may be some... Uh, scientific studies uh, of where, you know, proving, you know, one of your ingredients in your product, or if it's a clothing line, you can pay, post some social proof of people just basically, uh, you know, saying this product is awesome. I love it. You know, I don't have any aches or pains or, you know, these jeans are freaking phenomenal. These shoes are great, whatever it is, um, or a case study. So some products, uh, the manufacturers will have case studies of their own that you can reach out and actually grab a case study from them. Um, and that's another thing that I didn't put in here, but you can also talk about the manufacturing process as well um, to build anticipation. Like if it's different or something or cool, you can use that. Um, also, you want to intro a discount. And this is an excitement builder. You don't sell them in the anticipation email. You just want to build the excitement. And really what you're doing as well is you're not coming on too fast with the sale. You're just getting them excited about being sold another product that's awesome from your company. Now, if you don't have a product, obviously you can do, um, you know, an affiliate based product. Just make sure you do your homework and make sure it's a good product. So here's what we did. In this email, I just go, can I show you something cool? Um, and, and basically, and really, I did like two uh, cross sale anticipation emails, as you'll see. But for this one, it just telling them about the manufacturing process. And in this video, it shows like this cool way that they like, I don't know, put some sort of a paste over this logo and like on this crazy machine and like the dude spinning it is it's real cool, engaging content. Not trying to sell them anything, just saying, hey, you know, our newest arrival, uh, Barry Humble Tees have a very unique way they're made. Click here to see it, the process is pretty cool. And I've even added a little music to the video for you. Um, this process, I mean, here's where we're going into something for them and just kind of building value. And we're building value here, but we're not even really doing much uh, to do that. We're letting them know, though, this process really helps make our logos and designs last longer. Value for the customer, which provides you with more value, which is really what I'm after. Boom. How much more awesome can it get? And simple. <laughs> there ain't much text in here, all right? All right, now here comes the next day, I send this out. So I've already prepped them on the product I'm gonna be cross-selling by showing them the manufacturing process. Then boom, I roll into this. Are you the type that's good at keeping secrets? Basically just a intrigue type of, I like to use questions whenever I can um, because the mind cannot help but read and answer a question. Uh, then I go into good because tomorrow we'll be ha having an extremely short sale on our very humble tees like the ones from the video I emailed you yesterday. Now, here's what I'm doing there. I'm reference, referencing them back to an email I already sent, but notice I don't put a link to it or anything. I want them to follow my command and go find that email themselves uh, and thereby building more authority. So as you'll kind of notice, I'm just putting little pieces of authoritative commands uh, inside of these first few emails that I send out. Um, 
Then we just go into this sale will be for unapologetic gear members only, uh, kind of making them feel you know special, letting them know it's only only going to be for you know our customers. Um, and just we appreciate you supporting our family-owned, community-driven business so much that we want to say thank you and exclusive discount code. Basically, getting them excited for it. This sale will not be available to the public. All right, this is exclusive. This is just for you guys, and we can only afford. Now here we kind of start putting some scarcity in there. We can only afford to lower the price for 48 hours, then all coupon codes will expire. Uh, I recommend this, guys. If you're going to use scarcity, which you should, um, and and discount uh, time constraints, make sure that you actually follow through on what you're... If you say that sale's going to be gone, make sure it's gone in 48 hours. Get rid of the coupon code, all right? And so it says, I'm emailing you one day early because I want to make sure that you're ready to claim your coupon code tomorrow when I send it out. So keep your eyes peeled for the mall special offer. Boom. That's it. Building excitement. Letting them know, like, man, this is sale isn't available to the public. It's only going to be available to you. Get ready. All right. Now, cross sale anticipation email action step. I'm um, just using my example as a guy, guys. You guys got this. If you've already seen the first few emails, I'm sure this stuff is starting to make sense to you. All right. Um, choose an idea. Set up your cross sale anticipation email and set it to go out on day six. All right, so you're giving them a break. And now, if your product takes forever to ship, adjust accordingly. Okay, I know some of you guys might have a product that ships from, you know, wherever, or you may ship internationally. Who knows? All right, so just make sure that you give them time to get the product before you start really cross selling them too heavy. Okay. Now let's talk about the cross sale announcement email. The goal of this. Cross sell additional items using dynamic insertion if possible. And by that, all I mean is if your system, which you know, we like to use Clavio, if your system allows you to uh, know what this person bought the first time and then dynamically insert your next product accordingly uh, or by the uh, popularity of that item that's where you want to implement this okay if not it's cool i mean just you know use your second best selling product they happen to buy, have bought it and it is what it is um but you know uh, or you can possibly just set up you know two separate funnels where if a person buys a product a then next they get product b if a person buys product b they get seen sent product a okay um, and this is going to increase the lifetime customer value, obviously. And like I say, displaying your second most popular item. All right. So inside of this email, here's kind of what you want to do. And there's different ways to do it. But you want to make sure regardless of what you use, whichever idea you use, link direct to the product offer page. You got to do that um, because you don't want them to like go and then see all these other items and, you know, <laughs> people... You can't give them too many choices. If you do, you, you, you've kind of lost them, all right? So link directly to the product offer page, all right? Uh, social proof, um, science case study type of type of situation, um, just like the others, okay? But in here, you want to make sure you're incentivizing them with the discount and using that time constraint. Um, or you can use uh, incentivizing them with pricing uh, tiers, which is like a bundle discount. You know, you buy three today, you know, get three bottles for the price of two or, you know, buy one, get one half off, um, that sort of thing. So here's ours. I'm using that same T-shirt video again um, <clears throat> that I used before. Uh, and here we just introduce it, man. We introduced the, the coupon to them. Here's a 10% off coupon. It's only available for the next 48 hours. So we're using... Uh, a discount but we're using a time constraint you know and we're just going back to like why it's cool um kind of you know helping with the anticipation there and your code will not be made available to the public and we can only load this for 48 hours so back to the same thing and and that's it nothing special obviously you see we follow the same format logo intro you know what we got to offer call to actions um and that's basically it. Then we go back to, you know, the the coupon. Uh, and then we do have another call to action here. It got cut out, but it's just another link. Um, just tell them to, you know, shop now. So your cross sell announcement email. Action steps. Nothing. You got it by now, I'm sure. <laughs> just use my uh, example as a guide, you know, cr and craft your cross sell announcement email. Make sure you're putting that discount in there and, and using con time constraints. 
and follow through with the time constraint, okay? And make sure you direct link to that particular item's offer page. Don't let them go through your site and have to look through and find it and all that stuff. You'll lose them, okay? Set this email to go out on day seven. Now, obviously, just set it to go out the day after your cross-sale pre-announcement. Uh, so whenever you send that out, if your product takes too long, you know, more than, than it's time to ship, it's okay. Just adjust it accordingly, all right? Uh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed learning these five brand value building e-com emails um, as much as I enjoyed giving them to you, all right? Now, if you're really serious about increasing your total monthly revenue, your brand loyalty, and the value that you have in the marketplace with e-commerce email automation, I've got some great news for you, okay? Um, how would you like my team and I, which for some reason I'm saying life, I don't even wanna change it, <laughs> it's too awesome. How would you like my team and I to personally implement your entire e-com automation sequence? All right, now, this is not for everybody um, for obvious reasons that I'm going to get into. OK, um, first, let's go over the requirements. You must be in the e -com or have a physical product. Um, also, this is not for fly by night drop shipping stores. And when I say that, I mean guys that have a don't believe in long term value. They just throw a bunch of crap in their store and they're hoping to sell it. And I'm, you know, don't mean to disrespect you or anything, but you know, this is for brand building companies with with long term value goals. With they like to put out valuable uh, products. Okay, and you must have consistent traffic, um, but sending little to no emails. Um, and typically, we like to work with. Companies that have a, you know, at least a 50,000 monthly revenue coming in. Um, but, you know, depending on the, there's, you know, circumstances where if you're, you know, companies doing 20K and up, um, you still, you can still qualify. Okay. It's, it, it's isn't set in stone, but typically we find the people we work with who uh, mesh with us the best and that we can best serve are companies that generally have a 50,000 uh, monthly, monthly revenue. Now, let me explain what this will do for you. Okay. This is going to give you a fully automated e-com email backend system that builds long-term income. Now, this isn't for your short-term short thinkers, the smash and grab kind of guys. This is for guys looking to leave a legacy and build something of value, okay? You're going to get value-based content emails that will make your brand's lifetime customer value skyrocket, um, kind of like we were showing you in these videos, uh, in these examples earlier. It's going to give you an asset that pays dividends for years to come. Hence the long term here. Once these things are set up, they're set up, okay? And you're gonna have a predictable income pillar that performs regardless. Now, I won't say any names of any of your favorite platforms, but if your front end traffic source gets their panties in a wad or they got the <laughs> FTC looking into them and then they change their algorithm of privacy policy and all this other stuff overnight and your you know income goes kind of drops in half like that you still got this predictable income pillar that's going to continue to serve you okay now if you're accepted uh as a client you're going to get seven fully automated e email sequences which i'll get into in a sec every email will be written and fully designed with your product images and links to your store in them you're going to get the send schedules to properly get this thing running the subject lines, the call to action buttons, plus you're also gonna get two one-on-one -on -one consultation calls with me so that we can meticulously review your implementation strategy and uh, you know, kind of go over your C CRM strategy because every CRM is different. We've worked in a few of them, but sometimes it really helps just to kind of map this stuff out and blueprint it, okay? Um, now, let's just quickly go over your automated e-com sequences that you're gonna get. The indoctrination sequence, which we touched on, is critical, all right? It's gonna create that brand loyalty, reduce your returns and chargebacks, build trust and authority, increase your customer review rate, set the proper tone for all the following sequences that you're gonna do. You know, without having this, the other stuff is just not gonna be as effective. So this is by far, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the most important sequence that you can have. Then we're gonna do your cross-sell sequence for you. And all, you know, obviously this is gonna cross-sell additional items, 
it's going to increase your customer lifetime value and boost email profits almost immediately so you're hitting them going for the gusto basically after you get them indoctrinated now obviously we want to sell them more stuff <clears throat> your customer review sequence which I, I didn't really touch on much but this is really important this is going to generate conversion assets that you can use to boost your front end traffic conversion rates so uh, basically this is going to get you you know testimonials video uh, reviews things of that nature social reviews that you can use uh, on your ads and Facebook and and on your landing pages to help with conversions all right you want to get video conversion assets um, and really this creates a community around your brand um, and this really helps build that that customer brand loyalty um, it's going to create social interaction and you know honestly it's going to be a cool way to earn sales uh, by doing certain survey emails that we that we write in and help you implement it's going to help you earn sales but without being the least bit salesy or uh, obnoxious as <laughs> some you have as I'm sure you get these emails where it's just buy 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 my stuff buy my stuff now uh this is going to help you with that okay then we're going to do your 2x or multi-buyer sequence and basically you know this acknowledges your repeat customers and by doing so creates raving fans and then turns those raving fans into active brand promoters all right and obviously you know what that's going to do that's going to further increase the lifetime customer value uh we're going to be cross-selling additional items and leveraging dynamic automation uh if it's possible don't have to but if you have that option it's definitely going to going to really help then we're going to do your customer win back sequence now this is going to convert non-buyers as i mentioned who have been on your buyers list but hadn't purchased anything in the last 60 days all right you're going to offer them a discount uh use a discount ladder to get them back in and get them re-engaged now here's what a lot of people don't know this is also designed to remove dead weight from your esp or crm um and by doing that you're going to help delivery and engagement with your active customers so basically if somebody's in there taking up space number one they're costing you money because you pay on a by subscriber base the amount of subscribers you have <clears throat> is is how you pay the second thing is if these guys aren't opening your emails and if they aren't engaged is hurting your deliverability because it's making it look like people aren't that interested in what you're sending but in actuality it's just these guys who just for whatever reason have become unengaged in your brand and if they're not going to going to open and get back involved <clears throat> cut them loose all right <laughs> Uh, then we go through your abandoned abandoned cart sequence. Now this is going to obviously help you close the sale, but we do it in a different way. You do this by communicating urgency in the emails, using dynamic automation, um, and basically putting images of the product that they were looking at inside of inserting it into the email and linking directly back to their checkout page. Um, now also, as I told you. This, you get all 90% of your sales in seven days. Most people send like a couple, maybe three, and that's it. You really got to take advantage of this while the time is upon you. All right. So rather than just beating them over the head, we're also going to educate them on your brand and build authority. And basically what that's going to do is increase your chances of converting them from a non-buyer. All right. And it's going to boost your email revenue and you know obviously help you reclaim what would have been lost revenue for traffic that you've already uh paid for okay we're going to do a sales page abandonment sequence and that's somebody who hadn't checked out yet but they're on the page perusing or whatever the case may be um we're going to convert them and we're going to do the same thing we're going to educate them on the brand and this gives you an immediate increase um on the roi of your paid traffic and we're going to establish early authority so that really before they even come in they're already semi-indoctrinated and we're going to use a discount ladder uh to close the sale okay plus i'm even going to do a four-day holiday sequence for you now this is like an extra boost in revenue um and these are always great to do really you should be running these really about every six weeks um but we'll get one set up for you your holiday of choice and get that bad boy running um you can do it almost immediately if you like to and it really gives you a boost in revenue now let's go through this so 
the seven fully automated email sequences. Um, it's seven of those, so that's a value of seven thousand dollars. Um, those are generally around a thousand bucks a piece to get all set up. Uh, the one day four four day the four day cash machine holiday sequence that's a thousand bucks is what we generally charge to get that done. The two live one on one consultation calls uh, that's a couple grand uh, right there because those are a grand a piece. Uh, and the implementation blueprint and strategies that we're going to be doing and providing you with is 500 bucks. Um, so, you know, it's a real total value here of 10,500 bucks, which for a complete email back in system automated, I think you can agree that that's not bad for something that's going to continually pay dividends for you for years to come. Right. So here's the thing. Here's the bottom line. This is a one-time investment, and obviously there's constraints here, but this is a one-time investment of $49.97 or two monthly payments of $29.97, all right? But here's the thing. This is by application only, and the reason I'm doing this is because I really, I don't want to work with anyone that I can't necessarily help. Um, so there's only four spots available, obviously because there's a lot of personalized uh work to be done here so i don't want to snowball myself and my team get us like snowed under so we're only allowing four spots um and you can click the button below to enroll uh and you enroll by completing your application so here's what happened enroll by by clicking the button below my uh, uh my associate i'm sorry my assistant <laughs> nariza will contact you tonight or tomorrow and set up a time for us to talk personally all right, we'll talk. It's going to take about 15 minutes. I'm going to ask you a few questions, nothing intrusive. I just want to make sure we're a good fit. And if we are, you can pay your fee and then we'll get started for you, okay? If not, you know, I'll wish you a good day. But honestly, I'm even going to send you some more cool content just for enrolling and, and checking us out, okay? So just click the link below to enroll and let us build your fully automated e-com email system. All right, guys, I appreciate your time.